it's a final installment. It should it should answer all the questions that the first two movies throw up, um, and it should just conclude in a nice way. It's a uh, it's probably the biggest in terms of action sequences, um, and everyone's split up, and it's a much more mature feeling movie overall. We're a lot more mature, I think, throughout the whole thing, and it it really. It comes back round full circle and reminisces a little bit uh, of the first movie by the end. It's this constant search for peace, and I think the characters, you know, find that in their in their own way. It's, it, it'll make you cry, but it'll make you. It'll, I think when you walk out, you feel happy. I mean, to work with your friends is just such a privilege. It's such a wonderful thing to go into work one day and you get to work with good good friends of yours who you've known for a while now. Um, and I'll miss that, and that won't pull us together anymore. We've always had the movies to pull us together. Uh, I believe our friendships will last, and we've made some good friendships over the years. So I look forward to that, and that's the, that's the sweet thing of the bittersweet predicament. It's a rare thing to stick with a character for so long, you know, and get to do something like this that spans three films, and uh, it ends up being a big chunk of your life, you know? So you do, you kind of grow attached to them in a way um, that you don't on a film that you grow attached to every character, you know, so let alone something that, that spans a while. So, uh, yeah, I'll miss him greatly, absolutely. Every time I get the question asked, like, what's, uh, um, do you have any similarities to your character, I always just crack up because I'm like, I mean, no, he's the best, you know? I wish, I strive to be more like him. Uh, he's right, he's very compassionate, he's very loyal, he's very caring, he's very protective, you know, and he's got a natural leader in him, and uh, yeah, I admire that. It's nice to play a character you admire, genuinely. I know that if I was a 12-year-old kid and I came across a Maze Runner on the channels, you know, I'd definitely be hooked. I don't know, there's something about, uh, um, it's a relatable group of people, kids too, young people, um, uh, tackling this, like, absolutely um, extraordinarily, you know, uh, difficult world. So it's, uh, um, I think you latch onto that immediately and you, it's, it's easier to relate to people and then go on the ride that they're on, you know, it's, uh, um, and I do think that the, you know, the character work in the films has always been spectacular. I just feel like the, our cast is amazing um, and Wes, you know, our director, I think, never uh, uh, lost sight of that. So I think that's a huge thing too. Their support and their love and I don't know, the fact that you can be a part of something that people latch on to in that way, it's kind of amazing. I, I When I first started acting, I just never even, it seems so surreal to you. You just feel like everything you're a part of uh, automatically is like, you know, well, people aren't gonna watch this, you know? So I don't know, it's it's amazing and we're, we, we were able to make three movies because of them, so it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's why I signed up for the movies. I knew that she was going to have a real strong arc and um, also she was going to have to make this like kind of controversial decision. And I get asked a lot if I think that she's evil and I don't at all. I think she genuinely wants what's better for the greater good. You know, she, she wants to find the end result. She just kind of wants to do it differently to the boys. Um, and that's where the tension comes in. It's sad. It's kind of bittersweet. I mean, it's sad that we're not going to get to create movies again. Um, but we know that we're going to hang out with each other all the time. Like, you all know how close we actually are. So. Um, yeah, we're still going to hang out. I think they can expect some tears um, and a lot of action and for all the loose ends to be tied up, which I think is what you want at an end of a franchise, especially one that's run this long. Uh, we're really kind of giving them the answers that they need. The chemistry between the cast has never really died out, you know, and we've stayed friends, you know, uh, offset, you know, throughout the process. So, um, you know, we all know each other very well. There's a certain short uh, shorthand by, by this stage and uh, that, that certainly served us all well. I'm glad that the fans are going to get the kind of finale that I feel like they deserve, you know, and, um, you know, a certain amount of closure. Um, but, yeah, you know, it is it is sad, you know. It's sad uh, any time, you know, a film comes to an end, particularly a trilogy and one that spans over so many years. And, you know, we all grew up through this experience together. So it's, um, yeah, it's bittersweet. This is the most entertaining one of all three, I think. It's really like action-packed. You hear that a lot, but this one really is. And um, there are some great performances, um, particularly from, from, from Kaya, Thomas and, and Dylan. You know, their, their sort of relationship in this is really, uh, really beautiful. I mean, we made it for the fans, you know. It's like, they're the, ones that, they're the reasons we have these movies to begin with, you know. So we're, we're proud to show them this and uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully done their, their, the thing they've loved so much for so long, uh, Justice, you know. A lot of thrills and a lot of tears, I think, and hopefully a, a, a good feeling of hope at the end. Some famous director said that casting is 80, 80 90 percent of the job, I think, and that's totally true in this case. You know, I kind of lean on them to, to to show me the way. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys!
Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!